Hey there, folks. I think we're live now. So um, you're very welcome to the online business coffee break where I pop in here every day, Monday to Friday, 1 p.m. And um, we just talk about your business, uh, connect in with business owners and just see how you're doing. So let me just check the page and make sure that we're live. Yes, we are. Yay. Hello, everybody. Um, so I hope you're doing well today. I hope... Um, you know, that you're staying in touch with people and that the one thing I was having to think about this yesterday and I was saying I was actually quite glad that I decided to do this online business coffee break because it's giving me an opportunity to um, connect with other business owners um, see how they're doing um, talk to adults. Um, most days I have people on with me. A um, couple of days now I haven't, so I'm a bit lonely on my own. But, um, but yeah, so like if, if you want to hop on here any day and um, tomorrow is Friday we've got the expert series tomorrow we have um Linda Ford from Salisbury coaching joining us tomorrow and um she is just uh she's going to come in and talk to us about our goals and um talk about you know where we are right now in this in this pandemic and uh, so tomorrow is going to be really exciting i'm hoping it's going to broadcast on facebook some days zoom behaves itself some days zoom doesn't so for anyone who's watching live thanks for watching live on facebook um so we're talking about expanding your business online um at the moment the local for anyone who's based in ireland the local enterprise office has um brought out there's the online trading voucher there is also the business continuity voucher um, and from a post that I saw yesterday now I've yet to confirm it but um, I did see it where before with the online trading voucher you had to pay half um, now from the post that I saw yesterday you pay 10% and they will pay the rest so if you have work that you want done on your website so um, we are just doing so you may not be aware that um, as so as a company, we do training and implementation for business owners who want to expand their business online um, and coaching. So training and implementation and coaching and um, the implementation, we take probably um, uh, a few clients a year on the implementation. So we're helping people expand their business online from the foundation up. Um, so if this is something that you want to do and if you want to apply for one of the vouchers, um, and if you would like a quote from us, just let me know. So the vouchers range from, um, I think it's two and a half thousand. Um, so what, what you can do with that is take a look at your website. Um, if you want to PM me or comment me in, uh, on, in this post, and if there's some work that can be done on your website at the moment, if you can expand it online with regards to um, adding a digital product, um, adding online payment, adding online booking systems where you can get people to book in, adding online payment um, systems, then all of this will go towards the online trading voucher. And I think as well, um, I need to do a bit more reading up myself. I think there is possibly an advertisement um, section included in that as well so if you want to get a quote on this and if you um want to know more about it you can pm me or you can just comment in underneath this video um yeah so the thing is is that as you're looking at your business um and as you're wondering how okay how can i expand my business online and you may be thinking right now that what's the point um i get this every day from people i'm speaking to um a lot of people are gone into the mindset of what's the point um you know people aren't buying people aren't you know they're in this pandemic and i have to be honest there is a lot of people yes who are in that category but there's a lot of people who aren't and who are continuing on living um some a lot of people are still working a lot of people are still earning and a lot of people are still buying so just maybe take stock of where you are right now what you're thinking about your business um whether you are 
thinking about how you can expand your business, um, how you can keep your business going or how you can work on your business right now. Um, so uh, if there's, I see there's a few people watching, so I'd love your comments or just say hello. Um, just to make sure you're not a troll um, that I had the last few days. Um, and uh, yeah, because um, it really is interesting about how you can expand your business online. And um, a lot of people think that they can't, not that they can't expand their business online, but a lot of people just haven't even got to that, that space of thinking about, okay, how can I go that step further? How can I connect with people in a whole new way? So one of my clients, actually, um, his name is Taha Khalil, and he is based in Saudi Arabia. And um, one of the things that he, one of the things that he achieved is expanding his reach um, through video. So one of the things that we really do look at as part of when we're working with clients is how can you expand your, sorry, I'm trying to fix my phone here. How can you expand your reach um, through video? So this is all part of your online um, marketing strategy as well. How, um, so Taha, one of the things that he has done is, um, so as part of our working together, we came up with a marketing plan and he just went and did it. And a couple of his videos on LinkedIn were practically viral. One of his first videos, he got 2000 views. Absolutely amazing. So I was speaking to someone yesterday and one of the things we we're talking about was, you know, how are you showing up as a business right now? Um, because even though you may be closed, you still want to stay in touch with your customers because now is the time to make a memory with your customers to really boost that relationship boost that connection and um so that when things go back to normal either you pivot now and create another income stream or when things do go back to normal you have set up um brilliant relationships you have people buzzing about you and when things go back to normal they're going to go straight to your door, either online or physically, right? And the thing is, is that if you don't do anything now and the doors do come open again, then you kind of have to remind people, oh, we're here. Remember us, we're here. And, um, you know, so why not show up now um, and do, you know, do some fun marketing? Um, and if you were to think about, you know, maybe brainstorm with your team and think about what can we do now to raise the spirits of our customers, even if you're not open for business. Um, you know, what kind of videos could you create that would help them stay in touch with you? Um, what could you do to make them laugh? They always say there's a couple of points when you want to connect with your audience. It's um, education, education, humor, um, and I think there's another one I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, so how can you, and even there's the word edutain them, right? How can you entertain them and educate them at the same time? How can you um, just get them to be interested in you and what you do? Um, so when you do that, you, um, you keep that connection point there. So really... I guess on these videos, I just want to help you expand your thinking, think outside the box, think about what's possible and to really um, show up differently right now. Use this time. Like some people are saying, you know, there's too much pressure to be productive during this time. Like I think definitely we can be productive. We can also use the time to, um, you know, go in a little bit more. Um, into ourselves and do some self-discovery, do some self-awareness and um, try and improve ourselves um, and our own mental health because I think everyone needs it right now. But there is that, that opportunity to work on your business and to just take that piece of advice that I gave you there. How can I stay in touch with my customers right now? Um, and how can I think outside the box to, um, to build relationships right now? Um, so it's really important because when we come back to normal, you'll have 
it's like the gym it's like going to the gym right you will have increased your muscle you will have increased your muscle for connecting with your customers right so how can you build that muscle um and that when they come back then you're like your marketing muscle is just like you love connecting with people um, it's not an issue for you to show up. It's not an issue for you to write blogs. It's not an issue for you to create videos. You've used this time to get over that hump if you had any fears or procrastinations around that already. Um, so how can you use this time right now to, to show up and ask yourself on a scale of one to 10, how much is your business showing up right now? Whether your doors are open or whether your doors are closed, you have a responsibility, I feel, to show up for your customers and to be seen, to keep that visibility going, not only just for you and your customers, but so that you don't fall out of practice, um, you don't fall out of your marketing skills, um, or that you use this opportunity to build your marketing skills, to build your marketing muscle right where you go and help people um so i always say to me i don't like the word marketing i prefer to replace it with just helping people so how can you help people right now um, and it can be virtually it doesn't have to cost you anything you don't have to um uh, incur costs to do this right you can if your business is closed and if all your staff are you know, off work, um, if they're all still getting paid, how can either you as the owner um, keep marketing or if your staff are still getting paid, how can you all do something virtually remotely? I'm just throwing these questions out today to really get you thinking outside the box. Um, so I hope they help. Um, there's a few people watching. I'd love your comments. I can't see any comments at the minute. It's hard to see the comments when... Um, I'll just check any comments. There's three comments. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, so that's it for today. Hey, Maureen, how are you? Thanks for watching. So basically what we're talking about today is how to stay in touch, keep visibility going, um, whether your doors to your business are open or closed, Keep visibility going and keep marketing, stay in touch with your customers, keep building the relationships, keep your marketing muscle going um, and you may build new skills. You may get over your fears and your procrastinations and you will um, you will come out the other side of this a better business because you actually took some action and um, your those relationships when you come back are going to be so much stronger now so your impact doesn't have to cost you money it just might cost you some thinking outside the box time and some action on the computer and getting a bit creative with your videos right um so that's my thoughts for today for the online business coffee break i hope it serves you and um join us tomorrow where i'll be interviewing linda ford from Salisford Coaching on Gold Performance. So Fridays are our expert day. So if you want to, uh, Maureen, you might join us someday. Uh, we'll do an expert session on PR. And so every Friday I've got experts booked in and I'll be talking to them then. So that's it for me today. Thank you so much for joining. I hope um, my words um, has given you some food for thought and I will talk to you soon. All the best, take care, bye-bye.